Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the installation of PyCharm ID and IntelliBot plugin. And then I'll install or download and install the Selenium browser drivers so that you can execute your robot script on the desired browser that you want to execute. So in the previous two tutorials, we have seen how you can install Python, pip, configure the path, then how you can install the robot framework and the selenium library. So now in this tutorial, I'll cover the remaining steps. So let's get started. So uh, in order to install PyCharm ID, what you need to do is just go to the PyCharm, uh, go to Google and just type PyCharm um, download. And based on, so just click on the first link here. Uh, which says download PyCharm and it will redirect you to the JetBrains website. Um, I'll just say yes, I agree to the cookies. And here you will see that based on the platform, so for example, you are on Windows, go to Windows and select the Community Edition because for Robot Framework Community Edition is all fine. Uh, it will be good to go ahead with the Community Edition. There are a lot of uh, good features in the Professional ed Edition. Uh, for that you can get free trial, but that's the paid version. So I would recommend to keep using community edition because that's sufficient for the robot framework automation. Now, if you go to the uh, Mac or Linux, depending on which platform you are, you go ahead and download the community edition and save it on your desktop. So I have already saved the PyCharm community edition and let me open the folder so here i have already downloaded the dmg file because i am on mac so just double click on this file and it will open the community edition pycharm and start the installation so now you can see that on mac it will show you that to move it to the applications folder so you just drag and drop to the applications and it will do the rest so it will copy pycharm community edition to the applications folder and the installation should be done successfully without any issue so it's pretty straightforward no issues with the installation so once it's done go to launchpad and in launchpad you will see that pycharm c has been installed already so let me open that let me close this window here and it will verify the installation and once the verification is done so it will give you a pop message that it has been downloaded from internet are you sure you want to open it click on open and it will open the pycharm community edition right so because i already had the existing projects uh, for the PyCharm before or the Python projects before, um, then it will, it's giving me the pop up message that do I want to import? Then uh, I will say do not import, I'll just cancel that. And then it will start the PyCharm community edition. If you don't have any existing projects, so for example, I have existing project, it will automatically pick those. Uh, but in case, you don't have any um, previous installation you won't get any of these pop-ups now after the pycharm installation the next step is to install the intellibot plugin and intellibot plugin is the plugin in pycharm that adds the uh, smart editing features for the robot framework so you will be able to uh, it will be able to recognize the dot robot file and you will be able to execute the files and edit the file so intellibot plugin is uh, provided to provide the support for the robot framework so in order to install intellibot plugin uh, you can directly click on configure here and click on plugins and then search for the intellibot plugin from the marketplace so you just say intellibot plugin right so intellibot and there will be two versions of that so first one um uh, the second one is what we are looking at so intellibot at selenium library is the new one so which will 
uh, which is passed with the Selenium library. So just select that and click on install and accept the agreement. And once the installation has been successful, it will ask to restart the PyCharm ID. Just click on restart. And once the PyCharm ID has been restart, restarted, that IntelliBot plugin uh, will be installed successfully. Now let me create a quick sample project here. So, and I'll just say existing interpreter and choose the interpreter so i'll say the system interpreter and choose 3.8 and create a project uh, the reason i'm creating the project is to show you how you can install the plugins say for example you haven't got a chance to install when you um, install the PyCharm. So the other way or the other uh, sequence of installation of the plugin is click on the PyCharm at the top, go to the preferences and here you will see the plugin section as well. Now in the plugin section you can directly type, so for example when we install IntelliBot we typed after the installation of the PyCharm community edition. Now say for example you are already you have already created a project and you want to install any additional plugin this is the other way to install plugins after the installation and creation of the project so go to preferences go to plugins search for the plugins and uh, install the select the plugin that you want to install and click on install so that's the same approach as we did when we installed the pycharm community edition so we have now installed the PyCharm Community Edition and installed the IntelliBot plugin. Now let's see what else we need to do. So the next step is to download the Selenium browser drivers for the browsers. Okay. So when we are doing any automation um, using Selenium, if you have used Selenium before, then there is a requirement to if you want to drive any browser, so for example, Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox, you need the browser drivers and you need to download those from the Selenium website. And the, these browser drivers are the drivers that will drive the sequence of uh, execution for the browsers that you choose. And that's the reason even with the robot framework, because robot framework is built, uh, is, is a wrapper on top of Selenium um, libraries. So you need the Selenium browser and that is why we need a needed Selenium library as well. So let's go ahead and download the Selenium browsers. So to download Selenium browser, uh, same approach, go to the website um, or Selenium HQ and then we'll say Selenium browser drivers. Okay, let's Google that and it will direct you to the proper website so go to selenium.dev uh, or selenium.dev downloads okay so we'll say downloads and here they have revamped the website so previously it was selenium.hq uh, seleniumhq.org now it's selenium.dev so here in the download section if you go to download section you can see that the internet explorer driver server so if you want to download the Internet Explorer driver 32 bit windows uh, is the recommended one and then there are other browser drivers as well say for example if we go below here under the browsers we have Internet Explorer uh, Safari Chrome and Firefox okay so let me download one if you want to download all others so you can go through the configuration uh, and the documentation to get the details. So I'll go to the Chrome driver and go to the documentation here. And here you can see the latest table release for Chrome driver. Okay, so we'll click on Chrome driver and it will give you the location or it will give you, give you the Chrome driver list. And depending on your platform and uh, the OS, you select the right one. So I'm on Mac, I'll click on Mac and download the Mac driver. Uh, similarly, going back to the Firefox, 
I'll download the Firefox as well. So I'll download two drivers. So here you can see that Gecko uh, driver releases. So we'll click on Gecko driver releases. I scroll below and here we'll see depending on the platform. So I'm on Mac. I'll download the Mac OS tar file and we'll save these files. So once uh, you have downloaded these browser drivers, we just need to unzip them and keep it in a specified directory. So directory of your choice where we can reference these direct uh, these drivers when we are writing our script. Okay, so let me um, unzip these and put it in the right location. So if we go to the location where these are downloaded, so I'll just say show in finder and let me copy these two and put it in the desktop browser drivers. So I'll paste these two items and then unzip these. Okay, so we'll just open with archive utility right and you can see chrome driver has been okay so gecko driver and chrome driver have been unzipped and placed in the folder i'll delete these two uh, zip files okay and then just sort by name okay now the next step here is to add these drivers into your path okay so for example you are on windows you just need to add the location of these drivers into the path and if you're on mac i'll show you how you can add these into your path so open the terminal right so mac and linux will be pretty uh, similar approach uh, in windows i'll show you how you can set up path in a separate tutorial so here what we need to do is we need to uh, just set it up in the bash profile so what i'll do is i'll just uh, try to edit the bash profile and just say dot we'll just say first cd to go into the home directory and then vi dot bash profile and see that we have added this part there right so this is what you need to add in your bash profile so path of uh, this these particular drivers so these drivers I have placed in users uh, Manish desktop browser drivers directory and then colon uh, dollar curly braces path or uppercase and then say export space path save this particular file you just say colon WQ and exclamation mark and this will save this bash profile uh, if you op re, re uh, open the terminal, so I'll close the terminal and reopen the terminal and you say echo um, dollar path, it will now display the path, right? So browser drivers, uh, where, wherever the browser drivers are placed, these this path has been set up in the bash profile and then there is another um path for the python which we have already covered in the previous tutorial so this is very important step before you can actually start running the test cases in the robot framework in the pycharm terminal so to conclude in this tutorial what we have covered is we have understood how to install pycharm id and intellibot plugin in pycharm and then we understood how you can download selenium browser drivers for the browsers uh, on which you want to execute your robot automation script. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.